Welcome back to Terramator Gardens. Today, we're diving into the world of wild boars. Wild boars, scientifically known as Sus scruffa, are native to much of Europe, Asia, and North Africa. They've been introduced to other parts of the world, including the Americas and Australias, where they are often considered invasive. Wild boars have a long history of interaction with humans, dating back to ancient times when they were hunted for their meat and hides. An interesting fact about wild boars is their incredible adaptability. They can thrive in a wide range of habitats from dense forests and grasslands to agricultural areas and urban environments. This adaptability has allowed them to expand their range significantly over the centuries. Wild boars are robust, medium-sized mammals with a stocky build. They have coarse, bristly hair that can vary in color from dark brown to black with some regional variations. Adult males, known as boars, can weigh between 150 to 200 pounds, while females, known as soles, are typically smaller. They have prominent tusks that curve outward and, up and upward, which are used for digging and as weapons. Wild boars are highly adaptable and can survive in various environments. They prefer areas with dense vegetation for cover and access to water sources. They are omnivorous feeding on a wide range of foods including roots, tubers, fruits, small animals, and more. Their ability to forage and root through the soil helps them find food in diverse habitats. Wild boars are social animals and live in groups called sounders, typically consisting of females and their young. Adult males are usually solitary or form small bachelor groups. In captivity or controlled environments, they can be kept with other wild boars, but care should be taken to manage their aggressive behavior especially among males. Wild boars are often hunted for their meat, which is considered a delicacy in many cultures. They also play a role in ecosystems by aiding in seed dispersal and soil aeration through their rooting behavior. However, they can cause significant da agricultural damage and are known to carry diseases that can affect livestock and humans. Their aggressive nature and tendency to become invasive in non-native regions pose challenges to wildlife management. Wild boars are notorious for their destructive behavior in agricultural settings. Their rooting and foraging activities can devastate crops such as corn, wheat, and rice as they dig up plants and eat seeds and roots. Additionally, their trampling can destroy young plants and saplings, leading to reduced yields and increased replanting costs. This not only affects crop production, but also overall quality of the soil, making it less suitable for future planting. The financial impact of wild boar damage on farmers can be substantial. Crop losses directly translate to reduced income and the cost of repairing damaged fields, replanting crops, and implementing preventive measures can be significant. In some regions, farmers may also face increased costs associated with veterinary care for livestock injured by wild boars or affected by diseases they carry. Furthermore, the need for fencing, traps, and other control measures adds to their financial burden. Problems posed to farmers. Farmers face several challenges due to wild boars, including crop destruction, livestock threats, disease transmission, infrastructure damage, and increased management costs. And that's it for today's guide on wild boars. These fascinating adaptable animals have significant impact on both their natural habitats and human environments. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with your questions or experiences. Stay safe and we'll see you in the next video.